Hi, this is Kathleen from Sunny Mountain Patterns. I'm going to show you how to um, grade between sizes if you already have something in Inkscape using the interpolate function. Um, so long story short, there are some considerations, so please listen to the entire video. You can go to um, extensions. After, well, okay, you can click between these two pieces that you want to interpolate between to do grading of sizes. Go to extensions generate from path and interpolate and then you type in the number of steps you need so the number of sizes in between your smallest and your medium size or your medium and your largest size now here's the points that you really need to think about first off you need to have the same number of nodes or paths uh, nodes in the path as between the, the pieces you're going to interpolate so you can check that by going down here to the lower left hand corner and it says path eight nodes in this layer I do have layers so if you don't have layers, don't worry about it right now. This one also has eight nodes, and the last one also has eight nodes. However, that being said, just because it's the same number of nodes does not mean it's going to interpolate correctly. Uh, I will show you what happens when you interpolate these as is, and I've already tried this out, so I know beforehand this will not generate as well. So we're going to try um, method one, two steps. Say I needed two sizes in between, so it would be four sizes total. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second and that is all funky it's not what should happen so there's a reason for it if you double click you can see the points you can see that I have points one two three four five six seven eight points but notice where the points are now if we click here you can see that this has a point uh, the second size has a point here that's not in the first point so I'm just gonna click it and press delete and then you also notice that there's no extra point on the right hand side of my second size so I'm gonna delete that as well you can do that check um, for the largest size. I would recommend it. So not only is it important to have the same number of points, it is also the, important to have the points in general the same place. So it's not good enough to have eight points but have one size with a point on the left here and then the other size with a point on the right. It's going to totally mess up. So when we're actually going to do this, I'm going to click the two pieces that I want to interpolate between. I can't do three. I mean, I guess you could do three, but it'd be very messy. We're going to go to extensions, um, generate from path, interpolate. Now I want to do a live preview because I want to see what it's doing. This is pretty nice. If it's still funky, you can change the interpolation method to method two and see how that works out. But you can see that this is a little funky. So this method two is not going to work for me. So I'm definitely going to do method one in this case and say apply. It's going to take a little bit of time because it's got to think about this. So this is the equivalent to the blend mode in Illustrator. Uh, but I have found that the blend mode is a little bit more flexible in Illustrator because I can actually select certain points. Now, and also Illustrator, you can have actions so we can do the extra things you need to do. Like in this case, it's going to be one block. So I need to ungroup this by shifting control G to ungroup and now you have the individual pieces you also notice it copied the original rather than just interpolating between illustrator will not copy the original it will leave the original as is so the thing is you can do the same thing for the rest of your sizes so in essence you probably and most likely will need a smaller size a medium size and a larger size so i actually learned this from melly so's she has a, a pattern drafting course that covers all of this from start to finish, but her description is that you want smallest, medium, and large. You can't just go from small to large because uh, that's kind of a lot to interpolate between, and you want to actually check the sizes to make sure that they're on point for the drafting because, um, you know, as you get a larger size, especially for children, the proportions of, like, the waist versus the hip versus the uh, inseam length change. So it's a smart idea to do small, smallest size, medium size, and largest size, and just figure out how many sizes you need in between. But this is a short way to do it. Uh, you're going to have to, of course, change these to different layers because these, you all know, is on the lowest layer right now. Of course, it doesn't actually matter for Inkscape because you cannot export a PDF with layers in Inkscape, but it'll be helpful for you if you're working on Inkscape and you don't want to upgrade to Illustrator.